Hi guys, <laughs> my name is Abibola Kayo Deacon. For those that are new here, thank you for coming, thank you for joining in. And if you're a returning subscriber, I really appreciate you. I don't take your love for granted. And if you're a returning viewer, why have you not subscribed to this channel? Are we fighting? Oh yeah, Nico, forgive me. <laughs> forgive me. Please subscribe to this channel. It's the red subscribe button now. And um, let's get into it. So today I'll be talking about newborn how to cope with your newborn within the first six weeks after delivery so stay tuned i'll be right back today um i'll be sharing with us how i coped with my newborn and um i hope that it's going to really help you if you're a new mom i really want to congratulate you congratulations on your newborn and um, i pray that god will bless and preserve the baby Keep the baby safe keep your family safe and um sustain your family so the first thing i want you to know is see having a baby <laughs> is a life-changing experience your life will change for the best <laughs> it's totally a life-changing experience and um you must understand that these times can be very very emotional it can be very very overwhelming because you you are you know coming into a new phase of life one you have never experienced before one you have never witnessed before maybe you've helped your sister or your aunt or somebody around you to care for a baby but trust me <laughs> it's totally different from you caring for your own baby so this video is for you you want to watch till the end don't touch that dial don't change <laughs> this channel <laughs> so um then you must also you must also realize that loving your baby may not come at first sight in fact see those stress you had gone through the labor stress and if you had the cesarean section the stress from the pain of the surgery can totally put you in a state that you start wondering and asking yourself why did i do this to myself like who sent me <laughs> who sent me to have a baby why 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 but you must no not let that dominate your mind do not let that take control of your mind so you have to i'm here to help you walk through it and get to love your baby you understand so guys um having a baby comes with mixed feelings at some point you are excited you are happy your body has housed in a baby you know a full-grown woman for nine months and yet the baby has come and then you are very happy about that you're excited about that but some other times you are wondering why did i have a baby because everything about you has changed so the following tips is going to help you get through this um time very easily without any you know any regrets or any feeling of um i don't know you understand me so you must first know that you need as much help as you can see there's no problem in having your mother around your sister anyway everybody that wants to come around to help you please do not say no as far as you, you trust them and you know that they have your genuine and their best interest at heart, please do not refuse help. There is no superwoman in this business. At least for that first six weeks, you need as much help as you can get. You want to, you know, eat well, rest well, and care for your baby. So you don't want to get down to the chores in the house, like cleaning the house, getting the food done, doing the dishes, and all of those things that we do. You don't want to do it. You want to just relax. Let the food come to you. <laughs> When you, when you finish it, see, let them come and pack the plate. After all, this comes only once in a while. So enjoy it while it lasts. Then the next thing you want to do is, you've just had the baby. Your body is going through a lot of changes. You're bleeding. Your tummy is still, you know, well protruded. Like, it's still out there. It has not come down. The pains are still there. So get as much rest as you can. Because this rest is going to, you know, help with the healing process that your body is actually going through. So you want to get as much help as you can. Don't do a superwoman. Don't be like me. <laughs> Let me tell you this. Two weeks after I had my baby, you know, I felt I'm the type of person that doesn't like to bother other people to do things for me. I just believe, let me get them done by myself. So I felt two weeks after the baby, ah, I'm good to go now. I'm beginning to get some strength. So I just left the house. I didn't even tell my husband or my mother-in-law. I just left the house. Let me just take a walk, my people. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that because the result was not good. I didn't get the result of that the same day. But the following day, you know, I started cutting down on my diet. And this will lead me to my next point. I started cutting down on my diet. I, okay, I want my flat on me to get back in time, this and that. I was just deceiving myself. <laughs> so, the following morning, I just took pap, 
no it was coke out i took oats and um, that was it then sometimes around 11 a.m to 12 p.m i was in the sitting room with my husband and my mother-in-law and we were just talking about some things and um, i just went quiet <laughs> my husband just noticed that i stopped contributing i wasn't talking again what's up what happened i just started feeling this you know it's coming from my inside you know the sign of um signs of dizziness um i started feeling that sign and i was almost going into shock like i just had a baby i can't imagine myself <laughs> i just can't imagine god forbid so i was going into shock thank god my mother-in-law is a nurse so she had to do all the things she needed to do and um i came back to life praise the lord <laughs> i came back to life and um so please rest as much as you can i know it's not easy to sleep when your baby sleeps but condition your mind if you have to turn off your mobile phone please turn it off or put it in silent mode if you have to stop entertaining visitor please as in i mean um limit the visitor coming in if you need to set visitors time set it tell them they can come between the hours of this and that thank god for this COVID 19 period it has really you know limited the number of visitors coming not that i don't want to entertain visitors but it has given me enough time to rest as well she you understand and if you are watching this video this video <laughs> you know me so well you've not come to visit me and my baby i i like we both understand what is going on <laughs> and i'm grateful because i get enough time to rest and i'm relaxed and i'm still looking forward to your visits anyways so you want to set visitors time like you can come visit us within the hours of five and six or four and six thereabouts so that while you are alone with your baby you can get as much time as possible to rest and relax from all the stress that that your body has gone through then um do not put yourself under pressure see <laughs> all this gist that we are hearing everywhere two weeks after my postpartum belly is back to flat <laughs> my sister <laughs> Don't put yourself under pressure. Eat. You need all the food you can get. Eat. Because, okay, especially for those that are breastfeeding their baby exclusively. If you are not eating well, your baby is not going to get enough food. Your diet determines the content of your breast milk. So you want to eat. Eat and eat healthy. Don't just eat a batsemo and all those heavy, heavy things. No. You need to eat healthy. You need to understand the things that will help you um, produce more breast milk. For lactation sure you get so you want to eat LD like you can check my Instagram page and I, I dropped some um, food some menu that can help you produce more breast milk that can increase your breast milk production so you may want to check it out so um and that will lead me to this drink warm water see I love cold water even in pregnancy I was craving for ice I just want anything that has ice ice block just give me eyes. I'm fine. It's totally like satisfact satisfact tree. Oh god. <laughs> it satisfies my soul. So, but when you have a baby, you know newborns are prone to having to developing cold. So you don't want to expose your baby to that. Aside from the other environmental factors that might contribute to that, you can also contribute to it. When you drink cold water often enough, it can you know affect your baby. So you want to drink warm water. Drink warm water after food in the morning. Anytime you want to drink water, just make sure that there's water already in the flax and um, you want to drink that. That is what you should drink. Do not covet <laughs> cold water or block or ice or anything around that. It's okay to be emotional. Cry if you want to cry. If you feel that crying is the only thing that can make you feel better, please do it. Cry. It's going to, you know, help you expel the emotions like cry let the tears drop you can it can be tears of joy that oh god i can't believe i am a mother like <laughs> i can't believe i am a mother this is so sweet this is such an like an awesome experience i'm so happy and if it's because you are overwhelmed by all the stress that comes with motherhood and if you feel that crying will help please get into your closet and cry it is not so that you are sad or you don't like your baby no it's just a way to you know help you get better emotionally then the next thing you want to do is this see <laughs> you don't want to be alone you don't want to be alone so ensure that there are people around that will always you know help even if you don't have people around ensure that there's that somebody that you can always you know call once you dial a number she'll just be around in the next few minutes so you don't want to be alone 
make sure you have people around or somebody you can always call when you need to do so then please there are not two motherhood experiences that are the same understand that but there are experiences that you can relate with why did i say this if you're experiencing something after you've had your baby or, or your baby is showing some symptoms you can easily ask a fellow you know a friend that has just had the baby or somebody you think is, is has, to, has that fresh experience you can call and ask oh this is what i'm experiencing did you ever experience such and you don't need to call just one person you can call one two three within the three of them like among the three oh god english is so hard between these three people <laughs> Between these three people, you can get one person that will actually, you know, relate with your own experience. And it will help you to feel better. There's this feeling that you get to have, you know, oh, I'm not alone in this. And it gives you that rest of mind, that assurance that, oh, yes, I'm not doing bad, actually. I am not alone in this situation. And it's going to help, you know, you grow better. So this, this was very helpful for me. You can get to that point where you start feeling negative. And you don't want to come down with postpartum depression or any postnatal blues whatsoever. So what you want to do is this. You want to list out everything positive through the birth of your baby, um, after the baby got home, everything positive that you have experienced. You want to list them out and um, place your focus on all of those things so that at that moment where you start feeling overwhelmed and then negative mindsets want to start um, setting in you have those things that you are grateful for that will help you counter those um, negativity that you might want to show up the next thing you want to do is you are the mother of your child now you can't have for nine months now you born and nobody will stay with you so it's okay people are going to come with a lot of do this do that i did this for my baby i did this for myself this and that but one thing you must never ever overlook is this trust your instinct See, there's that thing that comes with motherhood. Your instinct just tells you what to do, when to do, how to do, and all of that. Trust your instinct. When your instinct is telling you this about your baby, please don't just treat it as it's nothing. It is everything. It is everything. You are the mother of that child. You carry that child for nine months. You know the kind of connection you have built in that nine months. So please trust your instinct. Don't let anybody come and dictate how you want to uh, manage your motherhood experience for you. It's okay to listen to advices and um, counsels from people, but in all of this, know what your inner man is telling you and um, follow it. It's just like following the leading of the spirit. So follow the leading of what your spirit is telling you, the spirit of motherhood, what it is telling you, follow that leading. I'm sorry if my voice sounds somehow, I have a um, little cold and um, pray for me. <laughs> pray for me and um, I hope it gets better in the next video. So talked about getting as much rest as you can i've talked about do not put yourself under pressure i've talked about you know taking care of yourself drink warm water use your pads clean up change do all of those things i've talked about being able to handle your emotions cry when you should cry 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 and laugh 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 god has given you a child laugh rejoice over it and I've talked about trusting your instincts, um, listening to others, listening to their experiences. You want to, you know, um, ask questions, ask questions. Then and I've talked about why you should not crucify yourself if you don't if you don't have a love at first sight for your baby. See, the truth is, as the baby starts, you know, feeding and you give breast to the baby, you put your baby to breast and. Um, there's there's that time your baby just starts staring in your face oh god it's so sweet so before then your baby will start appreciating you when he or she is well fed they're giving you a very huge beautiful smile oh god mom this is so sweet i enjoyed your breast <laughs> you know that kind of feeling your baby is going to give you that beautiful smile that's the number one compensation that's me oh <laughs> so i enjoy me close to my baby then your baby will start staring up staring in your face like just set his eyes on yours and don't ever carry your eyes away maintain that eye contact then within um the time of feeding the baby just you know remove mouth smile smile back at your baby by the time you start doing all of that one thing i started doing now is i smell my baby i just put my nose around this ear 
and I just oh god this is so beautiful oh this is amazing like <laughs> you know that feeling right so those are the things you want to do so that's um the end of this video I hope you learned a, a thing or two and um there's another thing that you feel has helped you survive the first six weeks of having a baby please drop it in the comment section i want to you know hear from you as well let me not be the only one talking i'm talking to you people you can see me <laughs> i'm talking to you so please drop a comment down below like this video share with every new mom around you let's you know help them get through this process it is a lot motherhood is a lot you are dealing with a lot of things so let's help them get through this process peacefully and joyfully um subscribe to this channel hit that subscribe button now don't let it pass today i love you guys thank you for always watching my videos thank you for the likes and um i don't take it for granted i'll see you in my next video till then stay safe and stay blessed bye